What's up, y'all? It's your boy Robert Frank, 615, checking in from the Sin Bin here on Wednesday, October 8th. Still candleless, as you can see, thanks to Miss Booty Jiggles. Breaking my shit all up. I'm just kidding, baby. We know it was Annabelle. Annabelle knocked the candle off the wall two weeks ago. So, shout out to Annabelle. Pretty good movie, by the way. What I needed to talk about tonight was a topic that I've been getting a ton of requests to cover. Please, Robert Frank, do a video on this. Please, I'm suffering at home from this. My girlfriend acts this way. Um, you know, help me out. Tell her I'm not doing anything wrong. So here I am to tell you this. I guess I struck a nerve. We struck a nerve on Sunday night in the fitness community when we made Girls Be Like Part 2. And it was all about jealousy and bodybuilding and or fitness community, rather, and uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Here's the deal. Fellas, and, and jealousy is a fucked up thing, man. Jealousy is, everybody has a little bit of jealousy. Some people are jealous for other reasons. Some people are jealous because uh, someone's got a bigger house, better car, faster car. They're bigger, they're smaller, they're leaner, they're toner. People are jealous for all different kinds of reasons. And it's annoying as fuck. But, I'm here to say this, and sometimes just, Ladies, you need to hear it from somebody other than your man because you just think he's doing shit wrong all the time. And fellas, sometimes you need to hear it from someone else other than your girlfriend um, because you're fucking stubborn. But what I'm here to say is this. Just because your boyfriend likes a picture of another girl on Instagram or Facebook or whatever doesn't mean he wants to fuck her. Okay? Just because your girlfriend likes another dude's picture just because she double taps an Instagram pic or leaves a comment or something doesn't mean she wants to fuck him, okay? Even if they did, let me start out by saying this. If your girlfriend is going to cheat on you, if your boyfriend is going to cheat on you, there is nothing you can fucking do to stop it. They are going to do it whether, whether you like it or not. Um, there's nothing you can do to stop it. There's zero percent. No matter how much you run his phone in the middle of the night, no matter how much you check her fucking private message history, get her passwords to all her shit, she is going to cheat on you if she's going to cheat on you. Ladies, no matter how, you know, like I said, he's going to cheat on you. There's nothing you can do. If all that time and energy and stress that you're fucking putting into um, you know, keeping up with his tracks and following his footsteps, you could be putting work in with somebody else that you have no insecurities about. There's nothing you could fucking do to stop it. So I needed to get that out there right away because people think that because, you know, well, you know, all the time it's like a full time job checking his phone, seeing who he likes on Instagram, seeing what new friend requests he has. It's exhausting to yourself. Why don't you fucking remove yourself from the situation? So, fellas, hopefully I helped you in that department, just hearing it from somebody else. Um, and, ladies, I know you can roll your eyes or dudes because there's some a lot of jealous motherfuckers out there, too. I know dudes, you're probably rolling your eyes. Like, oh, yeah, well, I still don't want my girl fucking messaging some random dudes. Bro, relax, man. That doesn't mean she's fucking them. That doesn't mean she wants to fuck them. It just, it just, it's networking. Anybody that's got a YouTube channel, anybody that's got a Facebook fan page, anyone that's got like a Twitter account, well, maybe not Twitter and regular Facebook and Instagram because they're kind of like, you know, they're, they're whatever. But people with, with YouTube channels, for the most part, I'd say 90% of them are on there because they have a message to give. They, want, they, they need an audience to deliver this message to. They think that they, you know, some people got a good cooking channel. Some people got good workout tips. Some people make funny videos. Some people, you know, do whatever. They want to build an audience. You need to network. You need male and female subscribers to hopefully share your videos and get the word out about you. That doesn't mean, like, you need that. That doesn't mean you want to fuck every person of the opposite sex um, that comes your way. It's just part of networking. I got my point across. Thank you for watching my videos. Like Chris Jones says, don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, holla back at your boy. Shout out to POG. Peace.